Gossip here, which we'll explain in just a moment, won't we, Charlie? Yes, actress and comedian June Whitfield uh, joins us this morning. Hello. Hello. Do you know, I, I'm sure I can't be unique amongst people in thinking I, I sort of know you. Because it's just sort of kind of familiarity. Cause... Well, I've been around since you were a boy, <laughs> haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> but do you have that effect on people that they kind of think, oh, June, hello, have we met? That well, kind of thing? I, just I, cause... I, I, I do it myself to, to actors. You know, I think, I'm sure I've met you somewhere. And then I realise that it's somebody very, very, very well known, you know, and I think, yeah. oh, But dear. the other thing is, he just wants to give you a hug as well. I don't know if anyone does that. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> would you like to do, do you want to do that now? We're, we're doing <laughs> it later. Far away. But, do it later. Do it afterwards. <laughs> but uh, the reason why we've got June here, uh, as we say, often referred to as National Treasure, quite rightly, she's entertained us for over 60 years on screen, stage and on the airwaves. Yes, to radio listeners, she's possibly most famous for her performances in Take It From Here or the news headlines, while TV viewers will know her best for her roles, of course, in Terry and June, or more recently, mm. Absolutely Fabulous. And throughout her life and career, June has kept some remarkable scrapbooks that are documenting her memories and achievements, and uh, these form the backbone for her new book, Cram, full of wonderful, they are really are wonderful pictures. Well, so we'll have more from June in just a moment, but let's uh, see her first in one of those memorable roles in Terry and June. Do you hear that? What? Shh. Listen. Can't hear anything. That's exactly what you're meant to hear. What? Nothing. Oh. And yet the engine is pounding away under her bonnet. She's a perfect woman. Bags of energy and not a peep out of her. Uh, hang on. Now what? Are your shoes clean? My shoes? Well, these carpets are brand new, you know. Oh, honestly, Terry. They've got to get dirty sometime, you know. Not on the first day, they don't. Anyway, I bought this on the way home. A vacuum cleaner? A car vac, yes. And a waste paper bin. And in the glove compartment, there is a carpet shampoo kit and an upholstery spray. Are you sure you don't object to my breathing in it? No, of course not. I bought an air freshener at the same time. Oh, <laughs> Can you adjust these seats? Have you ever been in a decent car before? There's a little lever down by the side. Well... Yes, it's a bit fascinating. <laughs> just watching that clip, Terry Scott. I'll ask you that classic question. What was he like? Because he was just... Oh, uh, delightful. I mean, we got on terribly well. Uh, everybody thought we were married. Yes. Um, Not least because it was your own names in the title of the yes, TV exactly, show. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Well, that was because we changed the name from Happy Ever After uh, because of some argument between the writers, or some reason that I'm not quite sure of now. But um, it became Terry and June because they couldn't think of another title. So Terry said, well, why not call it Terry and June? That was that. And you had lots of partnerships, of course, because you had the radio show as well. Oh, with Roy Hudd, of yeah. course, who's been yeah. on the show, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. Yes. And of course, Roy's written a book as well, so we've been chasing each other around. Well, I'd uh, like to show just everybody just a few of the, the, the photographs. What I found extraordinary is you've got photographs and reviews going way back. Here we have you. What age is that, <laughs> would you say? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. 20? <laughs> yes, yes, that's about it. But you kept so many of the mementos because you started out in sort of acting, dancing, singing, albeit on the yes, level. Yes, absolutely. Very young, didn't absolutely. you? Absolutely. Well, I, I think my mother probably started it and then I carried it on and then, of course, I lapsed. I, there are big gaps. Um, but um, I was very flattered when Orion Books said, you know, they wanted to do a, photo, a thing of photographs and scraps of my life um, because it's wonderful for me to now have it all in one book instead yeah. of bits and pieces all over the place. So you went rifling through the drawers. Let's have another look at one of the other images here because it's lovely because yes. you sort of follow your path. Now, can you remember what this is from? <laughs> I think that was the Fawcett saga with Jimmy Edwards. I think it, that's, that's what that Jimmy was. Edwards, who people remember from his gigantic... Of course. ...moustache. And take it from here, of course. Yeah. Um, and Jimmy and Wacko and all kinds of... Uh, I, d I don't know if we've got one of you and your husband. I thought it was such a romantic. You met your husband and there was... No, we haven't got a photograph of that. That's such a shame. Oh, because it's in the book. It's, it's in the it's, book. It's, it is indeed in the book. And all your reviews as well, which you, you got some fantastic reviews. Oh, that was when I was 12. <laughs> yes, not since. <laughs> They were always kind. I was just reading. I mean, why did you think then at the time? I mean, I, I suppose you know, mums and things keep um, scrap scrapbooks of, of their children. But were you sort of keeping it with a view in mind of thinking, well, maybe one day I'll have these published? No, or? not for a moment. I just 
stuck them in a book, you know, and yeah. uh, hope for the best. Well, that's Cinderella. Yes, which is just, yeah, that's 1947. Oh, panto time. Hence the, hence the uh, broomstick there. Now, for yeah. some people, you will be best known more recently, of course, for the Ab Fab. Ab Fab. And just tell us about how, you know, because it was quite a wacky idea on oh, paper, Marvel. presumably, and you read it and you thought, I fantastic. always thought it was like a cartoon, you know. We were all caricatures, in a way. And uh, I had um, been in a French and Saunders, uh, you know, in, in a sketch. And apparently Jennifer had said she wanted me to play her mother, and uh, then when the script arrived for the pilot, um, Mother was there for all of 30 seconds. And Jennifer had said, but if, if it goes to a series, uh, Mother will be in it. So um, I was delighted that I did it. I thought it was such a funny script. And it so was. Daft. I mean, it was just, it was just wonderful, wonderful series, and and also extended now, of course, not without Fab, but Doctor Who, which is another sort of cult <laughs> cult viewing. Oh, well, that's not a series. That was a, that was a quick one off. Yes, and I, I think was we've delighted got a, to do it. A preview because this is a Christmas uh, episode, isn't yes. it? So we have a quick look at that for Ooh, people. I haven't seen it. Oh dear. Well, I've got stuck here a sight for sore eyes. Out of my way! Oh. <laughs> Did we do it? Yeah. Is that him? Troll and thin. Big brown coat. The yeah. silver cloak. It worked, cos Wilf phoned Nettie, who phoned June. And her sister lives opposite Broadfell, and she saw the police box. And her neighbour saw this man heading east. Wilfred, have you told them who I am? You promised me. No, I just said you were a doctor, that's all. And might I say, sir, it is an honour to see you again. Oh, but you never said he was a looker. He's Gorgeous. Take a photo. <laughs> Not bad, eh? <laughs> Be nice. I'm Minnie. Minnie the Menace. It's a long time since I had a photo with a handsome man. Did you just get off him? Leave him alone, will you? Hush, you old misery. <laughs> Come on, Doctor. Give us a smile. That's it. Hold on. Did it flash? No, there's a blue light. Try again. One more fingers and thumbs. I'm, I'm really kind of busy, you know. Oh, it won't take a tick. Keep smiling. Is that your hand, Minnie? Good boy. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> it's not often you see David Tennant upstaged. I can say that. I, what a nice man. It was a good yeah, fun. Oh, yeah, great fun. And Bernard I've known for a long time, of course, yes. Had you ever been in Doctor Who before? In, in, no. no. No, never no, before. No, no, Very, very street cred, that, hasn't yeah. it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and uh, the foreword in your book um, actually intrigued me. You, you, you've mentioned that you mourn the loss of censorship on radio comedy and that you say that there are so many that Dennis Norden, Alan Simpson all managed to make millions laugh without having to resort to swear words. What, what is your view? What do you watch today? Uh, outnumbered. Love it, yeah. About the family yeah. and the children and everything, and um, oh, I don't know, very, very bit. Like good, clean and and sort of. A, but it, sort no, of it's it's just that, that you... um, a lot of younger comedians use a swear word instead of a tag, and I always think it's because they can't think how to finish the joke. But people like Frank and Dennis and Simpson and Galton and, uh, you know, Murin, Murin Norden, um, they just, uh, they used reflections of life, of, of everyday life, and a wonderful use of puns and words and silly things mm. and, you know, things like... Um, in the Glum family, the first dysfunctional family, right. because they were fed up with all the good families on uh, radio. And of course now you, you can't turn on radio or television without a dysfunctional family, really, of no. some kind or other. So uh, in terms of ticking off boxes, the Doctor Who thing, you've done that now. Anything, anything that you, that's outstanding that you still would oh, like to... Oh, uh... no, but I did uh, last year something I've never done before, and that was presenting a show called um, A Musical Salute to the War Years. 27 piece orchestra playing Glenn Miller, Ray Noble, um, Benny Goodman, uh, Matt Little, a uh, singer, three wonderful girls doing the Andrews Sisters, George Formby, uh, wow. you know, sound yeah. alike, and a couple of magnificent dancers. So, um, 
And we're doing it again in the in the spring. So well, I'm really looking forward to lovely that. Lovely to see you this morning. And people will be fascinated by the book because you just flip through each well, page. Well, I do and hope there. so. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. No, lovely it was, to see you. It was super. Well, thank you very, very much. Nice to see you here. Thank you very much. <laughs>